Hey everybody, it's Lissy here. Today I want to share this word that I was feeling about kingdom alignments. And I felt the Lord saying that there are kingdom alignments coming into many of your lives right now. And it's very important because there are a lot of distractions that have been happening and there are a lot of advancements that are coming. So it's really important to be clued into what God is saying about who your kingdom connections are, who your kingdom alignments are. It's really great because God is about to start bringing the people that you need to open up the doors that you need to be able to go where he's called you to go. God is about to bring an alignment and a breakthrough to a lot of people's lives where you've been praying and believing for God to open doors for you where you've been praying and believing for God to come through in certain areas. He's about to do this. He's about to bring you the people who are going to help you to get to those places and also yourself as well that many of you are the door openers. And so in this season, be asking God, am I a door opener or is God about to bring people who are going to come across my path that um, will open the doors? And you're gonna know, you're gonna have the same heartbeat. You're gonna feel this kingdom alignment and it's gonna make a lot of sense to you when you meet these people. There's gonna be this sense of feeling like you've known this person for a long time. Or there's gonna be a sense where you're gonna feel a shift um, in your life where God's gonna start to pull you away from old friendships and he's gonna start to push you into new connections and opportunities, new friendships. Um, so it's very important to be sowing into relationships, kingdom relationships in your life um, because God works through community. God works through relationships. God works through the people in our lives. A lot of God opportunities will come through people who are in our lives. Um, so it's very exciting in this season because that is something that God is doing, he's moving in and he is bringing forth in people's life. Um, there's many people who are watching this video that God has done a lot of shifting in your friendship groups. There's a lot of people who are gonna watch this that God has told you to actually um, kind of there's like friends that you've had since even childhood that God has put on your heart to kind of step back a bit and to make room for the new. So continue to trust God as you make room for the new. Continue to trust God. And there's even some people who the enemy took out certain friendships in your life and the Lord is going to bring those back in a really beautiful way that is going to um, bring you awe. God is going to restore a lot because there were a lot of things in your life that took a hit. And so God is going to also restore those things for many of you as well. Make sure to always take this word to the Lord because it's not going to be for everyone, but it is going to be for some people. Um, God is also doing something really special in this season where he's bringing divine protection. Um, there's many of you who God is strategically protecting you um, from different doors and situations that would have been harmful to you or they would have um, caused something to happen in the future that would have tripped you up and tripped up your destiny, tripped up different things that God wanted to protect you from. So that word is for some people as well, that God is wanting to protect you. And the nature of God is that he is a good God. And so what I love about that, I talk about that a lot. God being a good God means that God is going to look out for you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to provide all your needs. The Bible talks about that, how God provides all of our needs, how he's going to be that perfect father if you could imagine a perfect father that's who our god is and a really important thing with these kingdom alignments and the new that god is bringing is to make sure that you are handling it well make sure that you are investing in these people make sure that you are stewarding these new relationships and friendships and things that god is bringing into your life make sure that you are taking good care of them um, because you don't want to mishandle a blessing and God brings blessings into our lives, but it's sobering because we need to be sure that we're handling the blessings he brings, that we could steward it well, because it's very easy to neglect blessings that God brings, and then that just creates a whole commotion. So make sure that you are 
doing everything in your power to take care of these blessings that God's about to bring. Make sure that you are doing everything you can to steward it. And if you did get a past blessing and you messed something up, make sure that you take that to the Lord and he can redeem and restore anything. Um, and so with everything that God's doing in this season, make sure that you're in alignment with what he has for your life. Take time with him to look at everything and make sure that you are walking in accordance with what God has for you. And anything of the past that was rummaged by the enemy, anything of the past that was destroyed by the enemy or taken from the enemy, anything that you feel like was stolen in your life, pray and ask God to restore that in you. Ask him to restore that for your life because nothing is too hard for God. And be encouraged that nothing is too hard for him. And he is so good at restoration. And there's nothing that you screwed up too far that God can't redeem. And um, continue to take things. If that happened to you, if that's you who's watching this, take that to the Lord. And know that whether it was whatever it was, if it involved money, a person, a business, an opportunity, know that God can change anything god can fix anything and you can ca you can cast all your cares on him because he cares for you you can give that to him and know that he's gonna turn it around and he can turn it around and give you a brand new fresh start as if nothing had ever happened don't listen to the lies of the enemy that he can't turn a situation around because he can there's nothing too hard for god and just let that hit your spirit for some of you that nothing is too hard for god he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond all you could ever ask think or imagine and i feel like this is the season of ephesians 3 20. i've been repeating that in my time with the lord i've been feeling that so strong in my spirit that this is the season of ephesians 3 20. this is the season of suddenlies this is the time where we're going to see god bring restoration to things that happened in our lives and and situations that we're we're believing god for we're going to see the Lord. We're going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I went to church this past Sunday and this lady gave me a word and I just asked her for prayer. She read my mail and it was amazing because that was a scripture she used and that scripture actually means a lot to me about um, just Ephesians 3.20 and about God um, yeah, just turning everything around and for good and blessing us because in his goodness, it's his kindness that leads us to repentance. So I love to focus on the goodness of God. There's so many aspects to the Lord, of course, and there's he's, he's multifaceted in so many ways. There's so much of God that we have yet to even grasp with our own human minds because his ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. Our thoughts can't even go places that God's thoughts can go. We can't even, we can't even perceive things that God has already perceived for our lives. Isn't that so cool? Like we have not even fully understood how good he is, how kind he is, how faithful he is. And God's plan of restoration for your life is greater than you could ever. You could take a week and sit down and all those hours you could be sitting trying to work out how you would fix a situation. And God is so much more wise than we are and so much grander than we could ever imagine that he literally could still outthink us of you could take years and try to figure out this master plan and in one in less than a second god already has a plan that you couldn't even perceive so be encouraged that whatever has been stolen and the enemy attempted to steal kill and destroy john 10 10 god is going to redeem that in this season. I declare that over your life, if this word is for you, that he's gonna redeem that in your life in this season. He's bringing those kingdom alignments and make sure you steward them well. Make sure that you steward them well and make sure that you are, you are someone that God can entrust. Can God entrust you? Can God trust you with blessings? How do you handle blessings? How have you handled the blessings of the past? How have you handled the blessings he's given you in the past? And and how are you going to handle the blessings he brings you now? Because there's free will involved in all of this, which is crazy. And it's really important to make sure. I was talking with my, with my roommate about that last night. 
there's free will involved with everything. And so it's very important to make sure that we are listening into what God is saying because we want to be on his page. We want to be in his perfect will. We want to be walking in accordance with the best that he has for us. So how are you stewarding the blessings that God gives you? How are you walking out when he gives you a gift? Can he trust you that you're not going to mishandle it? Can he trust you that you're going to be good and faithful and kind and and generous to that gift? Are, are you going to multiply the gift? Are you going to take what he gave you and make it into even more? Are you going to take what he gave you and love that blessing? Or, you know, are you going to, are you going to neglect it, you know? How are you going to treat the things that God gives you? And if your heart is stirred because there's a blessing of the past that God gave you and you didn't take good care of, ask him for another chance because God is so kind and God can literally turn anything around. Anything. There's nothing that is too hard for God. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for your messages and your prayer requests. And I'm praying for you guys. Whenever you ask, I pray for you right there. And then when I read it, I love hearing your testimonies. It's so cool hearing what God is doing through these videos. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.